Good day, class. I'm Gonzo. And I'm Mark. And we're Dungeon Class. Today we're going to be talking about where to get started in playing Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition in 2019. So Mark, there's a lot of ways, uh, there's a lot of questions when you're, when you're t talking about starting to play D&D, because it can seem overwhelming, it can seem like a very complicated game, and it can seem like there's so many materials and things that you can buy, you don't know where to start. And I felt like we need to talk about where do we start, if you were just getting into the game. Um, I would start with the Dungeons & Dragons starter set. Now this can be found at... Again, Amazon or uh, Walmart, Target. You can uh, go to your local gaming shop and get it. And it's 20 bucks or under. It's pretty cheap. Now, let me tell you everything that's in there. Now, I know you have different ideas, and we'll get to those in a second. All right. But I don't know that you, you even have... I really haven't looked at this, Gonzo. I yeah. didn't know there was such a thing. This yeah. looks like it's too... Uh, under $20 just seems too cheap to me. Uh, I can't yeah. possibly have everything you need to get started. Let me, let me show you. First right. thing it comes with, which is really cool... It comes with the, uh, its own set of dice, and this is all you need right here to play the game. Um, we call these the funny-looking dice. They they're different shapes. They you know some have twenty sides, some have six sided, like most people are used to. Um, it comes with that. They're cool looking. They're fun to roll. The next thing it comes with, yeah, <laughs> there's triangles, which is weird. Um, and the next thing it comes with is a dandy starter set rule book. Now, this is cool because they simplified the rules for anyone to be able to pick it up and find, uh, basically find a way to play the game with their table and figure it out, no matter what age group you're playing with. So, right. this set of rules is not the complete set of Dungeons & Dragons rules, but it's all you need to actually play and begin playing. Right. So, it's pretty cool. And it's uh, got great art in it, and it has, uh, it's only like 30 pages. So, it's pretty, pretty easy to do. Um, the other thing it has which is really cool, is it comes with one of the best pre-made adventures that D&D offers still today. It's, it's uh, the adventure called Lost Mine of Fandelver. Or uh, maybe it's Fandelver? I don't know how you say it. but um, Fandelver. <laughs> and this, I've, I've actually played this with my family. Um, we did it on a road trip. We played, I got in the very back of the car, and they created their characters, and we uh, started playing, and we had a great time. It's a great story. It has everything from simple um, battle scenes and things like that to a mystery at the end that you have to figure out. It's got riddles. It's got everything you need to really get into the, the crux of what D&D is made of. And then the last thing um, that it comes with, which is there's a blank character sheet uh, that you can print off and make others. So you can create your own characters. Or there's already pre-made characters that are... Yeah, it's pretty cool. Here's a fighter for, with a folk hero background. He's a human. He's got the stats all rolled. But uh, what I really like about this whole this whole starter set is that if you've never played the game before and you just don't know where to start, um, other than going to dungeon class videos and learning how to play D&D &D and, and, and where to start, <laughs> um, other than that, um, this is what you do. You just order a starter set. Pick it up, read it. It's worth the money, um, which is very little. And, and uh, I mean, just getting dice is fun. And uh, I'm telling you, anyone can pick this up and play it. it. It's pretty awesome. All right, all right. That seems like a good way to go. And if you've got a little more money uh, and you want to go, what I feel like, I'm a completionist. I like to have it all. Um, and it really, this is the simple way to go as well. Not as cheap as your, your method, but getting the actual handbooks. There are three handbooks that anyone would ever really need to have. These are, uh, each one of these are say under $30. So like together, these are like $90 or more to have, you know, to have these, you have everything you would ever need for D&D. So like, let's say you're, if you're a player, you only need the player's handbook. This is under $30, you're out the door, you need this and some dice and you're good to go. Your DM will provide the, the campaign and everything else. So that, that's all you would need as a player. If you ever have any inkling to ever DM a game or anything, you would need these two manuals, the Monster, the Monster Manual and the Dungeon Master's Handbook. But the thing I like about them, see, I, I, I'll again talk about pretty pictures and stuff. There's all kinds of cool artwork and yeah, stuff. The art, the art is amazing in these books. So it's it's not just the manuals, it, it's, it's, it's something to look at. It's really beautiful, great artwork, good quality, good quality paper, good quality binding and all these are gonna last. Uh, this is what I like about these. 
But the beautiful thing is if you have, say, under $100, you bought all of these, the crazy thing is this is all you would ever need to have to play Dungeons and & Dragons. And, and that's the thing that's crazy about this, this game is that you don't, it doesn't require a lot of stuff. You don't have to buy miniatures. You don't have to do all Those are all ancillary stuff you don't have to have. And what I love about this game, it almost feels criminal kind of. That you, you pay under $100, <laughs> yeah. you get this, you get your dice, and that's all you have to pay. In fact, I looked at this and I'm like, how does this company already make money? Now, obviously they have other stuff you can't buy if you choose, and, that, and they make money there too, but it's literally all you'd ever need to have to play d and Well, here's, here's one. The coolest thing I like about all these things is for a player, this handbook, it's not about the rules again. It's about sparking your imagination and just by opening it up and looking for what class do you want to be or you know am I a fighter or an archer or a wizard or a cleric or a druid and just by reading a little bit about the backgrounds of those by picking what race are you are you an, an elf or a dwarf or a human or you know whatever just that sparks your imagination as a player. And then you pick your weapons. You pick your background and where you came from. It even has ideas on flaws that your character may have. Do you like to steal a lot? Or are you um, you know, are you know, prone to crying every time you see fire? I mean, whatever, whatever, whatever your flaw is. I know I am. And then the Dungeon Master's Guide gives Dungeon Masters an opportunity to spark their ideas and their imagination when it comes to creating... Um, a storyline. It has every, every table you can think of, from random encounter tables to uh, magic items. It's got the whole list of magic items that you can give your players, because let's face it, why do we play? So we can get gold and magic items. Um, and then the monster manual. I love the monster manual because you can literally open it up and say, there's my adventure, there's my encounter. As a, as a dungeon master, you can say, okay, here's a, a drow. Oh, shoot, I'm going to have them come across a cave and a drow you know, drove raiding parties coming out of the cave at night and they're going to meet these people and they're either going to have to negotiate or fight their way out, whatever. I mean, it literally can spark imagination in, the, in those ways. And I really like that about these books. This is kind of a pre, you know, if you've never played before, I definitely would probably start here. You don't have to. You can go right for for the for the, the holy trinity of D Dungeons and Dragons if you want. But um but yeah, I love these books, and I think that, uh, like you said, the the caveat is that these are really all you need to, to play D and D. Um, everything else is just comes as you go, and and you know you can be start to play with battle mats and figurines and all that. But uh, that's pretty cool. All right. Well, I think that's it for the day. Um, and tune in next time when we talk about why D and D is broken and why you can't fix it. Uh, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below, and until next time, class, class dismissed. dismissed.